Lindsay Francais reporting from central Moscow. With the Euro 2012 football championship just a few months away now, fans are booking places to stay when they go to watch their teams play. Over a million are expected to travel, and Ukrainian hotel owners and landlords are looking to net a tidy profit from each of them. And as RT's Alexei Yadashevsky reports, it's feared that some fans might stay at home instead. <laughs> The Euro 2012 football championship has not even begun in Ukraine, but this Kiev pensioner is already in high spirits. Tamara believes this summer's tournament is her last real chance to earn some money. Our pensions are next to nothing, our days are numbered and we want to see them off in style and earn a little money. That's why we will let a room in our flat to football fans. We'll start at $50 a night, depending on who stays here, but the price could go higher. Soviet design and lack of necessary amenities like air conditioning. But Tamara is being fairly reasonable about the price she would charge for it. But the greed of many other private landlords could prove costly for Ukraine. If you prefer to travel in comfort, like renting this modernly designed and fully equipped flat, be prepared to pay a fortune. This is an elite apartment in central Kiev, and it's priced in between five and ten thousand dollars a month. But we will raise prices at least threefold for the Euro 2012 period. Which makes it at least 400 euros a night. And this is not a record breaker. Some hostels, which had previously cost 30 euros, are now available at 15 times the price. And what it offers can hardly be described as five star. This England fan has already bought plane and match tickets, but now he's worried his trip may be jeopardized. And I don't think they're doing anything different to what any other host country has done in the past. Accommodation prices do rise, travel prices do rise. It's just the lack of available accommodation, very expensive, most of them university dormitories. Sure, you can stop in a tent, but for a reasonable, just a hotel, bed and breakfast type place, I think we're going to get absolutely stung. Skyrocketing prices urged UEFA to send a stern warning to Ukraine's government, which promised to take action. Hotels have a risk of ending up half empty. We have warned their owners to lower the prices. With so many low-cost airlines being able to bring fans for games in and out of Ukraine, they might as well decide against staying here, just coming for one day. Accommodation prices usually hit the ceiling ahead of a big event, and London will not be an exception during this summer's Olympics. But in the case of Ukraine, the gap between the price and the quality is vast, and there's a great risk private landlords could end up profitless. Ukraine has already spent 14 billion euros into the Euro 2012 project and is expected to earn only half a billion. The private sector will rake in just as much. That's unless the fans would not be scared away by the high prices. Alexey Roshevsky, RT, reporting from Kiev in Ukraine.